Welcome to Raj Online Trainings in the series of Hibernate 6 tutorial. Today, let us go with one more new topic like how to make use of annotations in Hibernate. So, the advantage of going with annotations in Hibernate is when annotations are used in POJO class, what are the Java bin or POJO class we take? When we make use of annotations in that POJO class, we need not create Hibernate XML mapping file. If you go through the previous videos, uh, we have taken the POJO class student and after creating POJO class student to map our class with the database table, we have created one Hibernate XML mapping file. But when we use these annotations in the POJO class, we need not create this Hibernate XML mapping file. One file will be totally reduced when we use annotations in Hibernate. So we are having the some of the basic annotations which we discuss in this video today like at the rate entity, at the rate id, at the rate table and at the rate column. The use of at the rate entity is to map your POJO class with the database table. To map for POJO class with the database table, we use at the rate entity. At the rate id is used to generate the primary key. It is used for to make a property of POJO class as primary key. At the rate table is used to change the name of the table. If our POJO class name and database table name is different, we can map to the table by using at the rate table. At the rate column is used to map our POJO class property with the table column when the name of the column of table is different. So at the rate table is to map with a different table name which is not mapping with our POJO class class name. If the names are different, if the class name and the table name is different, then we use at the rate table and at the rate column is used to map our POJO class property with the table column if they are different names. Now, let us see this with the example application. Let us go with an example application. In this Hibernate 6 project, we are having the SRC main Java under this, we are having the package com.hibernate6.entity in this package let us create one POJO class let me go with the name as employee Say finish go with the properties private int employee id private string employee name private int employee salary these are the private properties. Generate setters and getter methods. Go to this source. Generate getters and setters. Select all. Generate. Now the POJO class is ready. So in the previous cases, we used to map our class with the table using Hibernate XML mapping file. Now today in this video, we will be learning how to make use of annotations. Now to map this POJO class with the database table, we use the annotation at the rate entity. To mark this employee ID as the primary key at the rate ID. These are the mandatory annotations. Now, now we want to map this table with a different table name. Then we have to use the annotation at the rate table. And the name of the table we are going like employee info. The name of the table we are taking employee info. And we want to change this column name to map with a different column name. We use the annotation at the rate column. And we are going with the name like emp underscore name emp underscore name so those two cases when the names are different we make use of this at the rate table and at the rate column import the packages so the packages are like jakarta dot persistence dot column jakarta dot persistence dot entity and for id this one and for table jakarta dot persistence dot table so these are the packages where these annotations are present now once the POJO class is ready now what we need to do we need to add this POJO class to your hibernate xml configuration file let us open this hibernate xml configuration file present under src main resources so how to create this file how to manage this file everything i've done in the previous videos just watch the playlist given in the description open this configuration file in this configuration file here we are not having any mapping resource 
we have to go with what mapping class here when we use one notations we have to say mapping class equal to the name of the mapping class is what here take the package details com dot hibernate six dot entity take this package details and say dot the the name of the project class is employee that's it just we need to add this line of code in our hibernate configuration xml file now now let us test our application so we are having the package com dot hibernate six dot text right click on this package and say new class and let us go with the name employee text employee test with main method now in this test class get the session factory first session factory session factory equal to hibernate util in the previous videos you can know how to create this hibernate util dot get session factory get open session 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 equal to session factory dot open session then begin the transaction transaction px equal to session dot begin transaction these are the common steps import the packages now create object of our project class employee emp equal to new employee and set the values import the package for this employee belongs to this com dot hibernate six dot entity dot employee which we have created just now set the values emp dot set employee id emp dot set employee name with some name emp dot set salary with some salary now the object is ready with values now by using this session object call the method persist and pass your object this line of code will insert our object into the table commit your transaction close your session That's it. now save this file run this piece of code right click and say run as java application see here it's creating the table see the name of the table here employee info the name of the pojo class is employee but while creating table it has created the table employee info and see the column name also has been updated emp underscore name in the table it is emp name in capital but here it has created the name of the column as emp underscore name then it is inserting the record into the table now if you check the table if you open the database if you write here select a star from what's the name of the table which we mapped employee info See, it has inserted the record into the table right so these are the basic annotations what we have discussed in this video uh, we'll be discussing some more annotations in the next videos so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share thank you